So yeah, guys, this is the original pole that I purchased on Academy. It's real cheap. Um, you can see that first rain it broke right there. It's real weak and it falls and it can't handle anything. So I'm gonna make my own version of the pole. You'll see how strong it's gonna be and it's it's just gonna be a lot of difference. So yeah guys, let's get started on this project. So guys, I have a pool of water. This is about to get torn out on my boat. So I'm gonna have to make a hole. You'll see how it works. All right. Uh, today I will be making uh, a boat tarp pole. What it is is that in a boat that I have, all the uh, when it rains, all the water makes a pool on my tarp, and all the weight tears those uh, uh, tarps apart. And I'm tired of that. I purchased a uh, pole on the store, and it didn't work. So um, what I was gonna use as a cutting the base, I'm gonna cut the base. I was gonna use one of those uh, 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 Home Depot uh, covers, but I think it's too small. So I decided to go a little bit bigger uh, with the lampshade. And I'm just gonna go all the way around so that way I can mark it and then I can cut it. All right. All right. So it is marked. Using my reciprocal saw, I'm just gonna cut it. And once I cut it all the way around, I'll come back to you. All right, guys, so I got the uh, circle cut out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two one inch caps. Uh, PVC and I'm gonna put a one side about eight inches apart you can use whatever length you want uh, but uh, try not to get it too close to the edges or too close to each other and you're gonna mark it put it backwards and you're gonna mark it both of them okay so guys the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to make a perforation on the wood with my uh, rotor uh, so that way this I can penetrate this inside and glue it and make it strong so that way the way I want to do this is by putting the rotor right on the side and lower lower the uh, the blade oh wait a minute there's something inside okay so I'm gonna lower the side the blade about half halfway the wood okay so here it is I actually went a little bit lower because I'm going to fill it out with uh, uh, silicone or glue so that way that thing it can be pretty steady, strong. Alright, so let me cut it. So I'm starting. same thing on the other hole I'm not gonna show it but I'm gonna do the same thing then uh, I'll come back to you 
Okay hey guys, I'm gonna apply um, uh, 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 liquid nails. Sorry about my uh, uh, my stutter. I'm gonna apply liquid nails inside. This is just to give them strength. Liquid nails hold things really, really strong. All right, so I'm gonna just put it in, in here too. But not only that, I'm going to screw. So I'm just gonna put it right there and go all the way through. Yeah, so guys, I'm gonna put a screw there. Man, I can, I can do it with one hand. So the screw is in there. Just to give it a little bit more strength, the screw went to the other side, but I'm gonna cut it off. All right, and same thing on this side, okay? And let it dry. Okay, guys, so I also threw a little bit of uh, liquid nails through the side, and I'm just gonna let it dry for now before I continue doing the rest. All right. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Alright guys, so we're in safety goggles. Now. Okay, so the first set of uh, measurements, I'm gonna put my palm like that and I'm gonna measure it from the hole all the way to my palm. Palm is, and I'll show you why later on, you'll notice. But uh, this is Pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this. It doesn't go in there, but uh, I'm gonna measure us where the wood is at, more or less. And uh, it's right here. So I'm gonna cut two feet. I'm gonna cut two feet first. Okay. And I'll show you why cut two pieces of two feet long each one and obviously they're gonna go in here right here and here with glue and then we're gonna put the T's and I'm gonna put a little piece and this is gonna be so that way I can grab it easy you know just for me to grab it I don't have to bend over so then let's go ahead and put the glue on it so this is how it goes, we put the uh, primer, on the tube, and on there. And then we put the cement. All the way around. And then we stick it in inside. All the way, all the way down. That cement is so strong, it will probably fuse the PVC. Do the same thing on the other side, okay? Be back with you. So this is where the T comes along. We're gonna put the T's on both sides. And we're just gonna measure the length that we need for another uh, one inch PVC. Right now you can see that it's kind of like uh, bent in, so we're gonna measure it. So that way it stays open the way we it's supposed to be like on the bottom like that. Okay. My case, a six inch piece will do it perfectly. Um, this thing goes uh, about three quarters of an inch on each side. All right, so you can see more or less right there. And taking all the uh, 
thickness and all that, a six inch piece, uh, one inch PVC will do it. I think it will do it perfect. So I'm gonna cut a six inch piece and I'll come back to you guys. So I put the uh, six inch just temporarily just to show you. And it looks great, all right? So now I can grab it from here. So that way I can put it inside the boat. All right, it's an easy grab. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it together. You already saw me how to do it, so let's go for it. Together first, I already put the glue inside. And I'm just gonna stick it in on both sides so that way. The camera did not capture it, but uh, I just glue it together so that way this thing can be straight. Then I'm gonna take take this off and glue it together. Uh, good thing about PVC is flexible, and uh, I love working with PVC. So all we have to do is just separate these things like that, and then glue this thing. Put the primer inside and glue it. All right, cool. Let's do it, and I'll be back. So I got this part done. I, st I still want to add up about a foot on each side of a one inch PVC. So I want the stronger PVC uh, to be taller. Uh, the, one, the, uh, the one that is going to go in, I don't want it to be that long because that's going to be the weakest, the weak part. So uh, yeah, I'm going to add about another one foot on each side so let me let me get it okay and I'm gonna put it on the one foot so it's gonna be taller so that way you can do the same thing I'll catch you later all right guys so the next step is to we can... we're gonna stick the uh, uh, half inch uh, PVC all right and I want this at least about two inches above uh, above the uh, the end of the uh, one and a half uh, tubing or one inch uh, the one inch PVC about two inches. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure two inches in here. Uh, I don't have a pencil, but it's it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is just make sure where the two inches is at, and it's right on, on number six right there. So I'm gonna cut that tube right here. All right, and I'll be right with you. You cut it, Paul. Obviously, you need to cut another one. Second. So I'm going to cut another one exactly the same size as this one, alright? Alright guys, so I got this uh, cut. Beautiful. Let's see how it goes up. And uh, it's gonna, it's taking some pretty good shape right here. You know, it's going to be a strong one. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot better than the one that I purchased. I need to complete this part, okay? And um, well, that's the next step. Alright guys, so uh, this is the next step I'm, I want to do. I want to put the T's on both sides. Alright. Now right in the middle is going to have a cross, one of those cross sections. So I'm going to measure from here to here and cut two little pieces of half inch PVC and I'm gonna put them together at the end I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and then you'll see what I'm talking about next so the first thing I want to do is I want to measure how deep this thing goes inside I'm 
gonna mark it right here, measure how much. Measure how much. I'm gonna put a little mark. I'm gonna take it out. So I got the mark. And then I'm gonna measure. And I know how, I know that that's how much is gonna go in. right here so it seems like if it goes half inch all right so whatever measurement I get here let's see so I'm gonna get uh, let's see so I'm gonna I'm gonna measure that and it's five eighths I'm gonna find the center of five eighths or half inch, yeah. I mean uh, the halfway. So after measuring, I'm gonna cut two pieces of two inches for both sides. I already took in consideration what goes in, and this is gonna be like that. All right, so let me cut the tubes and I'll come back. All right, guys, so I got my two pieces of uh, uh, PVC. What I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna connect this, all right? So, I'm gonna do one side first. What you do is you want the primer. And uh, a lot of people put primer only on one side. I like to put primer on both sides. All right. So I got this. Now I'm gonna put the uh, the cement on that side, and I'm gonna stick it in. All right. So I got one side. Now I'm gonna do the next. I'm gonna put the primer. I'm gonna put the primer on the side that I wanna do the T. And I put the cement. Now this is crucial. You want the most level on the sides that you want. I mean, you don't want it crooked like that. So you kind of pinpoint it and, uh, and do it. And uh, you have very little time to to work on this, okay guys? Remember that. There's not much time. Uh, it dries pretty fast. So try to do it as quick as possible and as straight as you can. So now it's time to do the other side. And uh, got primer. Primer on this. Right, primer on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna put primer on, on this one right here. And I put the cement. You don't have to put a lot of cement. And stick it in. Our, our piece of art is coming together. So we're gonna do the same thing on this. 
cement. And we're gonna stick it together. See? See? This is pretty much what I wanted. That's how much that's what I, I was anticipating. Now I'm gonna put primer on these two and here and glue these together like that. Alright, and it's coming together. Then we're gonna put the legs, 45s legs on each side, and this thing will be done. Ready to put it on the boat. It's gonna be pretty strong, pretty steady. It's not gonna go nowhere. Not like the one they sell on the stores, that they don't last for crap. So, uh, first things first. Gonna primer it. Okay, primer both sides. Here, got primer. And I'm gonna put glue. I'm gonna put it right here on this on this one. On both sides. All right, and we're ready to stick this in on both sides. There you go. And bingo. We just formed the most important part of our leg. You might want to clean the excess of glue, but uh, pretty much this is what I, what we achieve. We're gonna make the uh, uh, legs to the sides, the 45s, and it's coming together. It's gonna go inside the boat. We're gonna pick this up as our desired height. back to you when I do the rest of the uh, legs okay guys so you saw how I glue it so I'm gonna have one T on this side and one T on that side using a two inch pieces of PVC on both sides okay and uh, you already saw how I, I did it so I'm not gonna record this I'm just gonna show you whenever it's done so that way we don't waste that much uh, time okay I'll come back to you okay guys so I got this part as you can tell all right now I'm gonna put two more pieces of two inches it doesn't matter if it's a little crook because anyway it's gonna it's gonna go down all right that's not too level okay doing it by hand Anyway, but uh, I'm gonna cut uh, two inch, half inch PVCs for each one of the sides. All right, and I'm gonna connect the uh, 45 degrees on all of them, like that. Two inch on each side, plus the 45s. See, it's gonna end up like that, okay? I'm gonna cut it, you know how to do it, and come back to you. All right, guys, so this is what I got so far. I hope you get the idea. This will help the tarp to go uh, the direction you want it to go. And all we gotta do is just uh, make uh, the holes where we're gonna be putting the uh, bolts all the way across. That way you can put it at the uh, correct height that you need it. And uh, this is pretty much it, man. This is a strong uh, sucker. So I'm gonna be painting it out and I'm gonna be have it ready soon. But I'll show you later on uh, how far apart I want the, the holes to be, all right? And um, that's it, it's getting, it's getting to shape. 
All right, guys, to finalize, I found these door pins and, uh, and a bolt, which it looks like a pin, and I'm gonna use them to stop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a whole ride on, on the, at the beginning of the uh, and right here, and that's gonna be just to keep the bolts in place. All right. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the first pin. That's uh, the first holes. They're just gonna to keep to keep them there. And then from there, I'm gonna make holes like every, probably every, let me see. Every five inches, no? every four inches. Every four inches, I'm gonna be making holes. I'm gonna make one hole in here and I'm gonna make another one in here. And you may want to guess why am I going to be doing those holes for? So, here it goes. And now I'm gonna rest the bolt. There. And you know where to make the other hole. Which is gonna be right in here. Okay, and like that, you're gonna keep making uh, holes every four inches. Every four inches, sorry. Until you get the desired height that you think it's good enough, all right? Okay, and those, this is, uh, I made about one, two, three, four, five, six holes, which is a little bit taller than me, which is about five, eight, five, nine foot tall. I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna stop right there. I got the bolts, this is what's gonna hold it. And uh, this is it, guys, this is the final result. Well, not the final, I'm gonna paint it. But this is, uh, this is a pretty good and strong uh, leg. Uh, this is what's gonna give them the shape of uh, to go to the sides. And this is pretty strong. Okay, guys, I'm gonna paint it, and then I'll show you the final results. Results, and whenever I install. All right, guys, I want to show you the final results. I put uh, the base, uh, the color red, just for the hell of it, just uh, for looks. And the poles uh, are black. This is the final results. And look at this beauty. All right, it looks, it looks just so awesome. And. Uh, as I mentioned it, this is gonna go up and it's gonna hold the tarp up there. All right, and uh, all we gotta do is just uh, install it and wait for a rain and see how it works, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work very awesome. So this is it guys, we just built a nice pole. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna show you uh, how I'm gonna put it on the boat and that is it guys. Thank you so much for bearing with me on this uh, invention. And uh, guys, I think this is gonna work really, really, really nice. All right, guys, see you shortly. All right, so it's time for us to put this pole. And let's get to work. There it is, bro. Oh, yep. 
one of the paints came out. I guess right in the middle. No, but uh, right in the middle of the boat. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying like this height. Is yeah, I think that'll. I mean, you can put it a lot more higher, but. Yeah. It's up to you. What is it? Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. I didn't have to raise the thing too much. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. A failure. Technical difficulties. I think that's good. Oh, yeah. You think you think it's gonna create a uh, pull there? Uh, do you have a stick or something? A what? A stick? What? Uh, try it. Se va a hacer más para acá. Más hacia los asientos, ¿no? There you go. No, there. no? that's where the pull okay. is gonna be. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Okay. Stay right there. Yep. Okay. That's perfect. And this is what I'm talking about when it's already installed. All I gotta do is secure this part and the water is gonna fall right through the outside instead of making a pool. So this is it. I'm just gonna wait for a big rain and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right guys, see you on another edition of Tip for Dummies. Don't forget to subscribe because uh, the next video I'm gonna make is gonna be so epic. <laughs>